Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Calms to farm here in Farm Simulator 22 with me, C Waddy. I am doing a spot of tedding, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm working on the secret meadow. But as you can see, it's a secret meadow with a bit of a difference. I've decided that because we've got a little bit of time now before the harvest season, that I'm going to try and fix this field and make this field better. Right now, when you currently go into the map, okay, this field says it needs to be ploughed and all that sort of stuff. Um, so basically, I'm going to have a bit of a go at trying to correct this field. Um, as you can see, I've already taken the luxury of removing all the trees. Do not fear, I am going to put the trees back. But basically what I'm going to do, after I've collected this hay, and got all this hay baled and removed, I am going to basically plough this field again. I'm going to plough this secret meadow. I'm going to reseed it. I'm going to make sure it's all environmentally precision farming friendly. And I'm going to set the field up again. And then, ladies and gents, I'm going to put the trees back in. I'm going to put some trees back around the edges. Um, replant those. And all will be right. All will be good. It may be that I have to go around all the grass fields at some point. Because obviously, if we look, field 10 needs to be done. Uh, the field down here needs to be done. Um, I've already done Secret Meadow 1, obviously. When we, we set all that field up. So, I basically just want to get the ploughed statuses off as many of the fields as I can. Obviously, I can't do the one with the sheeps roaming around on it. I can't do... Oh, I could do the one technically. Technically, I could do the one here on field four. That probably wouldn't be too much of a problem. I could replough all of that as well. Hmm, there's an idea. But first, we're going to get all of this, like I say, we're going to make use of the grass before I plough the field. So I figured it was better to hot, uh, mow it before I ploughed it all up. Like I say, all this hay can go in, this can be turned into hay and go into uh, the, the storage ready for, again, being used with the cows to make total mix ration. All the rolling is done at this point. The rolling has been completed. So, got nothing to do on the fields now. They're all nitrogen okay. Um, apart from the sunflowers, which has too much. And, um, yeah, we're pretty much on a roller here. So we'll be getting the plough. We'll be uh, ripping this field up. in it now I could have ploughed it effectively all into field 23 and done the whole let's merge it all together let's merge it join it all together type of deal um we might still do that. We might still mow both fields at the same time.
just getting all of this nice and done. It's pouring the rain again here in the UK. As I'm recording this episode, it's been a couple of really nice days just this re last week or so. Really nice, really warm. Unusually so for um, early May. But uh, now it's sadly uh, a very wet, muggy afternoon. Uh, it's getting to that time of year where I'm seriously thinking that I need to get the um, aircon plugged in. <laughs> get my aircon set up and configured. Ready for the uh, summer ahead. Portable aircon unit. Help get the uh, heat down in this office. There'll be a lot of hay on this field, ladies and gents. So, yeah, I figured. As, like I say, because we've got the whole of May available to us after today has finished. Um, there's literally no reason why we can't start this project and get it done. And whilst we've got access to the plow, we might start doing a little bit of plowage. On um, the other field as well. But we're going to be merging with field 20. Field 22. We might start plowing field 22. Ready for its merging into field 20. So. We've got that luxury to look forward to. I might even invest in a nice new plow assist me in doing it doing these two jobs there's going to be a lot of bales on this field a lot of bales I think, we'll, we'll, I hope. Gonna get to test our new uh, baler as well today, ladies and gents. Our excellent new tedder. Our baler with wind row rower built in. Didn't lower fast enough. Got plenty of grass. That's a lot of grass, ladies and gents. Did miss a little bit with the with the mower. I, uh, course play did most of it, and then I just went round, did an extra bead round the outside, just to get an extra rim of grass that we've not been able to get before because obviously the trees were in the way. But um. We'll be amending that. very shortly. So what I'll probably do 
I'll probably paint most of this area. Okay. Much like I did over here. I'll paint it, remove um, all the all the field fuel. And then um, I'll bring the plow out and I'll, I'll do my own custom design. And we probably won't have it quite as close to the beehive as it was before. We might take advantage of being able to go a little bit closer this way now. Because I've removed all the sunken trees. Same over there. I might decide to put the trees back on. When I plant the trees, I might actually plant them on the, the bit here. Which was formerly the path between the two fields. Rather than plant them like here. <laughs> Um, just to maximise again the amount of grass field we get and also to provide a nice separation between the two fields. Uh, I'm just going to leave my tether over here for now. Because this is obviously time for bailing. Like I say, technically I need to get into that. I need to do that field and that other field as well. I might, you know, I might do that. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Right, let's have a look. What size bales are we doing? Do we know? I'm going to do two forties. Two forties should be good. nice hay bales ladies and gents This is, like I say, more than adequate for doing hay baling, straw baling. Not that the windrow is really going to be terribly useful for the straw, because the straw is already going to be in swaths anyway, isn't it? But you know what I mean. And like I say, if we just mow grass in future, we can just do grass bales like this. We ain't got to worry about wrapping. take advantage of silage additive so we can add that into the grass bales
lovely bead of uh, So yeah, this this baler is uh, doing a very good job. Nice big capacity bales. Looks like eight thousand litre jobs. So very happy with that. Hopefully that, that means there won't be quite as many to pick up as I first feared. Send me a message. Who send me a message? There's quite a bit of um, hay there that it missed. This thing's actually missed quite a bit of hay as it's going around. I wonder if it has a... It probably has a maximum import, doesn't it? Ladies and gents. Not so much on the wind roller, I wouldn't have thought, but maybe on the baler, because the fast bale has a maximum, a maximum throughput, if you like, of um, how much hay it can process. How many litres it can pick up. And if you're going too fast, it misses stuff which is one of the reasons why the fast bale has that rather handy built-in feature where it will automatically reduce and step down the speed of the tractor to make sure it doesn't miss
No, we get to rip through here quite nice. Not sure what would be the quicker method actually of doing this this baler or having the fast bale with the the other rake on the front of the tractor the front rake doing the wind rowing and then the fast bale um i know for a fact the fast bale wouldn't would produce more bales because it only produces like five thousand. the round bales are only like five thousand liters so it would have to make more bales therapeutic and relaxing i'm sorry if i could quiet for periods but you know it's very nice and relaxing just doing this and my brain just kind of switches off and i forget that i'm recording <laughs> i forget that i'm actually supposed to be uh doing a let's play may end up cutting out a chunk of the video <laughs> I might have to record a few minutes longer today now I don't know how long I was quiet for I was thinking about a TV show I watched recently or well, the latest episode of a TV show I watched recently a TV show that divides a lot of opinions on lines um the show called Young Rock. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's supposed to. It's a com. It's a cop. It's supposed to be a comedy show, made by NBC in America, which is supposed to focus on the life of uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Um, and tells his story. Obviously, from child to global mega superstar. But the show, the show kind of bounces around in Rock's history. It doesn't like, it's not like starting with him as a baby and following him up to present. It kind of jumps around in his timeline a bit. So there's like three different actors that play young Rock. There's a kid that plays him, obviously, when he's a small kid. And there's a, another kid that plays him when he's in his like early to mid teens. And then there's another kid dude that plays him when he's in his sort of late teens early 20s um, and it, like I say the show tends to jump around quite a bit um, which makes it very confusing to watch because like last week's episode was um, Young Rock having his first ever wrestling match which just so happened to be a dark match a tryout for WWE which is very rare. Most people in the wrestling business would not have their first ever match in front of Vince McMahon. <laughs> you know, you would you'd tend to ha have had quite a few matches under your belt and you would have spent quite a few months, possibly even years working before you got to that level. Um, so obviously that was quite unusual. But it went from that last week to this week, going back to when Rock was a real tiny kid and it was focusing back when he was in um with his grandmother and that yeah in hawaii when his grandmother was on trial <laughs> with the feds it's, it's, it gets it's a very hard show to watch um for many reasons a there's a lot of inconsistencies if you actually know any if you actually are a wrestling fan like i am and you've been following wrestling for a number yet there's a lot of they take a lot of liberties with the truth let's say there's a lot of things that just aren't correct 
they do stuff obviously for the benefit of making the show entertaining without necessarily following the correct um, timeline and stuff. It was like in in the episode, the, the previous episode where, um, like I say, Rock had his dark match. It was so funny that um, the show also had um, Jim Helwig, the Ultimate Warrior, in it, or his character was referenced and being mentioned. And also you had Mick Foley as obviously Mankind who was backstage who gave Young Rock some advice. And um, neither one of those were there. Neither one of those was with the WWE when Rock had his dark match. Because Rock had his dark match, his first like match ever, in February of 1996. Mick Foley didn't join WWE until the May of 1996. And Jim Helwig, the Ultimate Warrior, didn't return to WWE until WrestleMania in April of that year. So neither of them would have been there in real in real life, yet NBC decided to put them in the episode because they figured people will know who they are. <laughs> Even the casual viewer probably has heard of them and knows who they are. Um, which is slightly the one thing that I don't like about the show. The fact that it does, like, like I say, it does stretch the truth a little bit. Mm. Adjust things. Let's get rid of the bales. Let's fold up. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Right. Gonna need uh, my bale trailer next. To get all my bales. And then, gonna have to go and get a plow. Well, I'm gonna have to paint the field first, and then I'm gonna have to go get a plow. I remember right, the bale trailer, I, I now park in the silage bunker at the cows. Because that's where it makes the most sense to keep. The bale trailer where it's not going to be anybody, any, anybody's way. I really don't know what this is here. Um, that white stuff. I thought it was snow, and if it was snow... I'd have expected it to have melted by now. I don't know if it's lime or fertilizer or what it's meant to be. Maybe I scoop it up with the shovel and find out. Bit of wall grinding. Back in my Tony Hawk's days. Go pick up the bales. I can still pick up 28 of these bales. Right, that's good to know. There's going to be a lot more than 28 of these bales.
20. 21. Oh, knock that one out of the way. Four to five to six and seven. There's twenty eight bales right there. All right, one load of bales has been delivered. Unfortunately, I have to put a bit of a cut in the video there because I got interrupted whilst I was recording there by a family member. So I'll go and pick up the rest of the bales, get them shifted, and then in the next video we'll be ready start um sorting out that field it will be odd bale here looks like it's still might be more than trailer load so I might have to do another second run collect these who knows depends how quickly we get full doesn't it depends how quickly we get full Actually, I can pick them all up in one go. Yeah, I much prefer it when it's like that. Right. JD, as they say in the trade. Might do a bit of smoothage over the field, actually. Well, I'm going to paint it first. Then I'm going to smooth it. Then I'm going to plough it. Obviously, we need to get to, to a position. A positioning. Now, all manner of wonderful things. Ready to go. Spot on. So that's plenty of hay now. We did the silage earlier from some of the other fields, and so got plenty of silage. You know what? I need to get away from that wall if I'm going to pivot. Awkward as flip. Try and go in here. There we are. One lovely bale. Trailer back in its parking spot. Right, let's quickly run down to the store then, ladies and gents. We're going to grab a new plough to assist us with ploughing that field and maybe some others. So, but that will be done in the next episode, ladies and gents. We won't be ploughing today. 
nor will I be painting today because obviously the episode's getting a little bit on the long side even though I've got to cut out a few bits and pieces trim it down where I've been interrupted or where I just spent long periods not saying anything um, we will need to get the plough and get the plow uh, up here isn't it plows I want plow platinum by Stevie that's what I want and that's what I shall have so that's what I'm going to be using to replow my field And I think that's going to be very, very good. Very, very be beneficial. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've reached the end of today's video. I will be back with more Farmson content very, very soon. But for now, from me, here on Constant Farms, it is cheerio and goodbye, ladies and gents. So, cheerio and goodbye.